All right, I have a MTC uh, Viper MTC Viper Connect three to twelve times magnification by twenty four millimeter uh, objective here. So this is um, this is a very popular in the UK. I believe it's a UK company too. Um, why it's so popular is because it has a very wide angle of view. It has double the angle of view as any other scope, you know, at whatever given distance that you're looking through. Um, so basically, um, uh, when you're looking through this, you know, normal scopes, you usually look at about, you know, your, your eye, pupil distance to your, to the lens here is, uh, it's usually about three and a half to four inches or so, but this one is like, your eye is literally right here, you know, with this, this eyepiece over here extending out of this. Your, your eye will almost touch this pretty much, you know, pretty much your nose will touch the, uh, the end here. Uh, so, so that's, that's the main thing. So, you know, this is specifically meant for, for, uh, basically a non-recoil because with your, pretty much your eye here, if you put this on, I don't know, on something that has recoil to it, it will, you know, it'll give you a black eye. So, so basically it's meant for, it's meant for, uh, air guns. So anyways, uh, uh, so this thing comes with this little eyepiece right here as well. I don't use this thing. I just, it just kind of doesn't feel right for me, but it does block out all the light though. So that's pretty cool. Um, another cool thing about this is that it's a second focal plane. So the reticle stays very small. doesn't matter how much you magnify, the reticle stays tiny. So that's cool right there. Uh, I had this on my Taipan uh, for for rat hunting, uh, but I'm actually I'm I'm going with something else. I'm actually going with the prism prism scopes because uh, you know re the reality is that I pretty much do only I shoot no more than twenty five yards, um, and the prism scope you know it lets me go down you know it lets me uh, basically shoot pretty much from from five feet ten feet away to to uh, 25 yards and i don't have to do any adjustment whatsoever i might just have to use the uh the little uh uh holdover marks that they have on there but um so that's why i'm getting rid of this thing so this is uh which which reticle is this this is the uh so I believe it's this reticle over here, the uh, MTC SCB reticle. They have two different reticles, right? So it's this top one right here. Um, yeah, it's the top one, SCB. So anyway, so this is a it's a pretty nice scope. Um, it also has the uh, the the lit reticle, and it's, the reticle is only only at the crosshair where it's lit. So so the rest of the reticle is not lit, only, you know, right at the center on off switch right here and, you know, whatever, whatever, uh, uh, brightness you could adjust. Um, so yeah, so this is for sale. Um, here's the case. It comes with the manual. It comes with this little thing. So, uh, it's a little bit, a couple of spots of specs of dots here and there but otherwise it's not uh, it's not scratching anything so there is one thing uh, so MTC doesn't have a, a, a larger wheel uh, for the side focus uh, adjustment so I actually got a UTG one to, to squeeze on here but the UTG one was a little bit too small so I, I used a file to uh, to file away the rubber the rubber piece that goes around here to enlarge it to go over this but it was still a very tight fit so in the process of, of squeezing it in here, I made this little adjustment up slight, you know, it, it basically, it, it wiggles a little bit, but it still works fine. Like when you spin it, it's very tight, nice and tight, but it does have that little wiggle. Uh, so just, just so you know that. Uh, so when you get it, you know, you don't go, oh, what the heck happened? Why wasn't that disclosed? No, that's that's a poor disclosure right there. So that's about it. I think that's the only part of this thing that's, uh, that's handy, anything. Anything that's uh, a little dusty in there that has anything that's uh, that has any type of flaws, that's about it. Uh, I was using uh, Burris signature uh, rings 
So if you know the bird signature ring, it's, you know, it's, there's a plastic shim that goes on the scope, and then the ring's hang on top of that. So the rings, there's no ring marks, basically. A little bit, a little bit of oiliness. A little bit of oiliness from the, from the, from the rings. But uh, that's about it. So yeah, so this is for sale. Um, so, so they come with the, um, you know, obviously everything, every, oops, everything you see in here, including the, uh, um, I will also throw in a, um, throw in shipping for you. So, and that's to the lower 48 states. So you live, you know, in Hawaii or Alaska or Canada or something like that, you know, somewhere else that costs more, you can have to pay for the extra shipping, whatever the, cost, the extra cost is. I'll pay for the uh, U uh, U.S. Postal Service um, flat rate. Uh, then on top of that, you know, whatever, whatever extra it is, you, you, you pay for that. So, let's see. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching.